Wastewater from St. John's, Paradise, and Mount Pearl is treated at the Riverhead Wastewater Treatment Facility. 90 million liters of wastewater is treated each day. That's equivalent to the water in 115 Bowering Park swimming pools. A number of items that are flushed every day by residents cause problems in each step of our wastewater system, from pipes in your house to the Riverhead Treatment Facility. Flushing solid items can also have an impact on your household pipes. These items get caught in household pipes and can result in sewer backups into your home or that of your neighbors. This is problematic for everyone, including city staff who have to repair the problem. The simple solution? Use your garbage bins for all waste other than human waste and toilet paper. Hi, I'm Jacinta. I'm a wastewater analyst here at Riverhead Wastewater Treatment Facility. Uh, today, we are demonstrating the difference between non-flushable items and flushable items. In our first speaker here, we have a flushable Lysol wipe and you can see it's not breaking down very well. It's been actually spinning for 24 hours. Uh, in this speaker, we're gonna add just regular household toilet paper. And we do have it spinning to simulate the effects within your toilet. And you can see already how the particles are coming apart faster and it's already starting to break up. Please, please do not flush. Flushable wipes like facial, baby, cleaning, feminine hygiene wipes, facial tissues, napkins, paper towels. No leftover food, fats, oils and grease, no unused medications. Please don't flush feminine hygiene products such as tampons and tampon applicators, disposable diapers, dental floss, no cotton balls, cotton swabs, condoms, bandages, or cigarette butts. Thank <laughs> you.